Hey, hey, he's doing the cylinders. So, one. So, here we have this incline we want to dry. Remember I showed this last week, kind of? Yeah, but without the cylinder. And you guys were like, huh? <laughs> So I'll do it again on an easier example. Um, here, so what what do I know on this? You know it's a circle. Yeah, it's a circle. So I know the back is going to be this tall, right? And the okay. front's going to be this tall. So I can copy those lines. Their, their spots, right? Mm -hmm. Are there any other points I know how tall they are? Uh, you can make one from like the midpoint or something. Yeah, from the midpoint here. Why is the midpoint not working? I'm going to turn it off on me. <laughs> <laughs> See the top. Those are the tops. Mm -hmm. Just kind of keep it straight. Extra line. Now, what about the other points in between? You can do the same thing. Because I could kind of do it based on these four points, right? Yeah. Could I do a spline on there? Yep, it'll be great. There, 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 there. And close it. That's correct. And I'm just going to keep that one to see. How well it is. Oh, you're not in the EBC template. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. We'll just going to put that on the test <laughs> player. And I'm going to turn that off. <clears throat> so if I want to be more exact, what do I need? More pieces. More points, have. more points, right? Yeah. yeah. So instead of just doing every, right now I've got every quadrant. Quadrants, right? So if I did a line, so I could do two lines right. there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or if I did a line there. Uh, yeah. There. Like that mm -hmm. equally spaced. I get the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your divisions there. And that's kind of where I wanted it. I want them in the middle of the curve. So if I did it on the angle, I have to figure out the angles here on my isometric, on the isometric also, right? If I do this, I can just draw a line across the front and then copy it back. 0 0.4, 0 0.8. I get those lines. Same thing. Now I can just pull these up. So now I can do my spline. Here, there, there. And enter. Then I'll just tell it tangent direction. Do that square knob. It's going at 30. And that looks really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not going up yet. That's going.
Maybe I need some more points. Looks like I need a couple more points here and here to, to make that curve go good. Let's turn that one on. Yep, because it was way better. So you can use up some quarters. It's kind of close. Yeah, so I might want to do a couple more. Um, or move this one forward, that one a little bit more back. See, so. And we got it color coordinated, so that might be good. I got stupid wrinkles. It's still just pretty close to that. Doesn't matter that I'm off that much. Am I measuring this? So I can go with that one, right? So if you find a few points, you can get it, rough it in. I'm not going to penalize you over being right. But on the side view here, do we need that side view? No. No. If you did, how would you do it? Same way you just project down and over. I didn't draw right? it. <laughs> I just did it. I just did it top, uh, top and stuff. Top and front. So, approximations are good when you're doing it in 2D. Okay? So that's fine. So basically, I was just stressed over nothing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unlock it. Yeah, the, the one. 